Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna check out another Wednesday update. I'm really excited for this one because it's something that we've never really had in the game before. And um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm super excited. I can't wait to check it out with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we kick things off, there's a new item in the Lifetime store. So if you are a Lifetime writer, you can go ahead and pick up these new gloves that are coming out with the um, new cozy camping set. So go ahead and do that if you are a Lifetime member. So today, Star Stable has released a new crafting system that is um, initiated by Farah, who's been selling the Druid clothes for a super long time. So she's basically opening up this little crafting store. You collect items and build up reputation with her. And eventually, you will get a, some tack and some clothing. I don't know if it's just one set or if it's like a ton of stuff you can make. And once you get the status of Master Crafter, um, you can uh, unlock a little owl pet for your saddlebag. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, I was not... Okay, I was not expecting that. It scared me a little bit. Um, I didn't know there was going to be a cutscene. I don't know why she's walking in circles, but okay. So let's go ahead and talk to her. So Ferris says, I don't suppose you've seen a four-pronged stitching punch lying around anywhere? It's sort of like a chunky fork. No? Oh dear. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to help her find some of her crafting supplies. My name is Farrah and this handsome feathered fellow is Toby. So this is the owl. Probably not this exact one because this is her pet, but we are going to earn an owl just like this when uh, we reach a certain reputation level with Vera. We were on our way to Veildale when I hit a bumpy patch in the road and, well, you can see the mess I made with all these supplies. Okay, well, okay, so this quest unlocks at level 5, so this is going to, like, initiate some sort of, like, little backstory about Veildale. So I'm going to ask about her supplies because we already know plenty about Veildale. Supplies for my new workshop. I've got a nice piece of land picked out right on the banks of the Silver Song River. But right now I have to focus on finding the supplies that fell off the cart. Some of them are irreplaceable. I could help. Really, that would be amazing. It will go much faster if we work together. Okay, so I guess now we have to look for all of her supplies that fell off. And then the map is marked, so we'll just follow along this path and get them. accounted for. I'm lucky you showed up when you did. Well, everything seems to be in order, and this time I made sure to secure everything extra tight. Well, Toby, are you ready to hit the road again? Hoo-hoo. He's so cute! I can't wait till we get him. Now, now, don't get your feathers in a bunch. I'll take it nice and slow this time. I'm just so excited that we're finally making my dream a reality. Imagine, a workshop dedicated to keeping Jorvik's traditional techniques alive. If you should find yourself in Veildale, Regina, I hope you stop by. Perhaps I could even teach you a thing or two about sustainable craftsmanship. Okay, I guess we'll get a cutscene of her driving away. Thanks again for your help. Aideen Willing, we'll see each other again soon. Bye-bye. There she goes. So I guess we should go find her then. Okay, so Fair is here again in Veildale Village, and she is like right across from Elizabeth's house right here. She has a little shop of her own where you can now buy all the Druid tack and clothing, and she has a quest for us probably to set up her shop. So let's go ahead and see what she wants. Business is off to a great start, but the truth is a store is never my dream. Can I share my vision with you, Regina? You might not guess it based on how I'm dressed now, but I was raised in Jorvik City. Growing up, the closest I came to feeling Aideen's present was eating ice cream beneath her statue in the city plaza. I didn't even know I had a family in Veildale until Grandma got sick. Mom and Dad brought me here and explained how they had moved away from the druid life and never looked back. Um, how did this news make you feel? 
Not gonna lie, at first I was a little embarrassed. Being a city kid, druids were not cool. But that attitude didn't last forever. Or long. I spent as much time as I could learning from my grandma about the druid traditions. She taught me how to live off of Jorvik's natural bounty. How to survive and thrive on the things you find in nature. There are traditional crafting techniques known only on this island that have been passed along since prehistoric times. With so many, like my parents, abandoning those traditions, the knowledge was in danger of disappearing completely. So I decided that as soon as I was old enough, I would travel throughout Jorvik to meet with other elderly druids like my grandma and learn all I could from them about living in harmony with Jorvik. That's incredible. I know, when I, wherever I traveled, I found others like my grandmother with so much to share. It was an honor to learn from them all. It was also on my journeys in the county of Evermist that I met Toby here. Hmm, could that be hinting at a new area? Because I don't think we have an Evermist um, yet in the game. Now that my travels are over, I want to share what I have learned about forging, crafting, and community. Will you join me as an apprentice, Regina, in helping make this dream a reality? That's my dream, Regina. I hope you'll share- I hope you'll help me make it a reality. Okay, what else does she have to say? Excuse me for a moment, I think I see a customer. Hiya, Avalon. Back again so soon. Yes, Miss Farah. I seem to have run out of the most delicious tea you sold me. Do you have more that I might purchase? I'm afraid I'm all out of herbal tea, but it shouldn't take long for me to get more. Really? Who's your supplier, if I might ask? The forest of Jorvik, I forged the ingredients myself. That explains it. Of course we have Aideen to thank for such a, deli a delicious beverage. How about this? As soon as we have more, I'll bring it to your house. Such an amazing service. You are a blessing in this community, Farah. To fill Avalon's order, I'll need to go foraging, but that means closing up the shop. What am I going to do? Crafting things the fair way starts with finding the ingredients yourself. If you're going to help my workshop become a reality, we could... We should start for with the for oh my gosh we should start with the lesson in foraging follow me oh okay so also can we please have backpacks in the game can that be a thing because i'm really digging hers i think it's cute i set up this bench to showcase the many versatile materials you can find as you explore your big let's go through them together First we have flax, a true miracle plant. Fibers from the stalk can be used to make linen, while the seeds can be pressed to make lin linseed oil. Next is the Yorvegian variety of the reed known as jute. This hardy and versatile plant can be used to make rope and sackcloth. Here's stone moss, one of nature's great purifiers with distinctive green with a distinctive green hue. Bee balm is a lovely flower noted for its soothing qualities and rich purple colors. The rubia plant might look humble on the surface, but its crimson roots make for beautiful red dye. Finally, these aromatic flowers are wild chamomile. They're the star ingredient in the tea Avalon is so fond of, among other uses. Please don't try to take samples from this bench to use in your recipes. They are for educational purposes only. And thus concludes our crash course in foraging. Okay. I'll leave the samples here so you can study at your leisure. I've written field notes with tips for where to find them in the wild. Ugh. Can we just get to the quest? She's telling us so much. Soon you'll learn to make supplies for all these ingredients, but right now we just need one plant to fill Avalon's order. Wild chamomile is the main ingredient in my herbal tea and is quite common on Jorvik. It grows in sunny meadows away from water. You should be able to find some growing nearby. I seem to remember a patch growing near the burnt down house near the road to the south. Go and pick two chamomile flowers. When you come back, we can take them to my workshop and craft some tea. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Okay. Crafting ingredients grow throughout Jorvik. They will stay in your inventory until you craft this card or sell them, even if you end your session. Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. So, let's go find these chamomile flowers. Okay, so here we are at the burned down house. So, let's see if we can find some of these chamomile flowers. I don't know how 
easy or difficult they're going to be? Well, that answers my question. Uh, <laughs> here's some. Oh gosh, why is it floating? Yeah, I'm not sure how difficult or easy this is supposed to be. Right now, it's pretty easy, but also this is our, like, starting quest. So it could get more difficult than this. Alright, let's head back. Okay, here we are. There's suddenly a ton of people here, for whatever reason. These flowers will do nicely. Hang on to those. You'll need them next. If we're going to get Aval on his tea, we need to bring out the potential the potential of those ingredients. I think it's time I introduce you to the next fate of my dream. Follow me. Okay. So this must be like her crafting area back here. Ooh, this is fancy. Look at this. Welcome to the Riverside Workshop. It's here that I hope to pass on techniques for crafting from sustainable ingredients found right here on Jorvik. It's been quite an effort setting up my shop uh, setting up shop on my own. Sorry, Toby, you're right. You've worked so hard to keep away the mice. Regina, if we're going to apprent if you're going to apprentice with me in crafting, your journey starts now. I cannot read, I swear. I, I swear I'm a good reader. I just can't read these quests for whatever reason. There are three workstations. Help me unpack and we'll set up each so you can familiarize yourself with the tools and functions of each. Why am I illiterate on Star Stable? I just, every time I make a video and have to read something, I just can't do it. I promise, I'm an English major in real life, so. This is the Taylor workstation here. You can fashion clothing from any recipes you've unlocked. So I think what, um, I think what the goal is, is like, as you make stuff, you get more recipes, kind of like, like in Animal Crossing, if you play and are obsessed like me, you unlock more recipes as you progress. Um, and with those recipes, you can base or you can make stuff um, based on those recipes. So she says for this one, next is the saddlery workstation. You'll find tools for working, for working, making all manner of tack based on your recipes. What? <laughs> okay. I think it's supposed to say you'll find tools for making all manner of tack based on your recipes. I don't know why the word working is in there. Okay, cool. So this is for us, I think. So like when we get more recipes, we can make more stuff. And is this maybe a preview of what we're going to make? Because this is nice. I like that saddle a lot. Ooh, that saddle bag's cute. Okay, I'm kind of snooping at like all the stuff. That's a really pretty sh top. I like these Jerd shirts. Like, they're really cute. I like the detail on this one. Like, it has a little satchel with plants in it. That's adorable. What's this one over here? Is it the same thing, just blue? Yeah, and it has a little white one. Okay, these are really cute. I like the, the Druid, like, style. Like, I like the style of shirt. But, like, these ones are so plain, so I don't wear them very often. But I would definitely wear that. I would wear that. So, I'm really excited to see what kind of clothing and stuff we can make. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Last but not least, we have the supplies workstation. Here you can make useful items that people around Jorvik might need, like the tea Avalon asked for. Okay. I'm glad you could be here to help finish the workshop. After all, my dream of spreading traditional crafting techniques is a community effort. Now it's time to turn that wild chamomile that you foraged into a supply of refreshing herbal tea. Go ahead and use the supplies workstation that we set up before. Toby and I will stay here to supervise. Okay. So the supplies workstation is used to craft items needed to fulfill orders. So do I just, oh, I just push yes. Okay. That's interesting though. Like, did you see how many squares there are? So you might need like several ingredients to make something in the future. That's really cool. Okay. You've proven yourself an, an adept apprentice in harvesting and crafting. Now it's time to bring things full circle. Convincing the people of Jorvik to trust in handcrafting and handcrafted supplies made from local ingredients will take time, but I'm confident 
that when customers see these goods for themselves, they'll become customers for life. Take Avalon. Once he tried my recipe for herbal tea, he won't drink anything else. I've set up an order board here in the workshop that lists which customers are looking for which goods on each day. I went ahead and added Avalon's order to the board. Since I won't always be here to supervise the process, you should go ahead and practice signing up for a delivery. Use Ferris order boards to select and fulfill to select an order to fulfill using the supplies you've crafted. Where's her board? Is it up here? I'm confused. Um hello? One second. I think I found it. So we checked that off. Great, you're now signed up to deliver herbal tea to Avalon. I trust you know where to find him. As a regular customer, Avalon has a delivery box where you can leave his order. It looks like this. Once you've completed the delivery, come back and we can review what you've learned. Okay. So, I guess his box is like over there where his house is. So I need to grab my horse, which I should never have left down here, but I did. Okay, so let's go deliver his order. I'm so excited for this. This looks like a lot of fun. And uh, it gives me something else to do logging on every day because right now I'm just doing soul writing and I'm almost done with that because I reached um, 100,000 experience points. So I only have 20,000 left until I get the, the horse. So, I guess we'll put the T in there. We get Yorvik shillings and 100 uh, reputation points with Farah. Brings you to my college, Regina. College? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brings you to my cottage, Regina. Don't tell me the runestones are singing again. Dear, oh dear, what a calamity is befalling Yorvik this time. I have your delivery of herbal tea. Praise Aideen, what a sweet relief. I tell you, Farah's blend is the best I've ever had. I'm helping Farah expand her workshop. Keeping the traditional ways alive is indeed a noble mission, Regina. May Aideen smile on your venture. I know that I'll be ordering from Farah's workshop again, and I'll be sure to tell you to tell all my friends to do the same. Thank you, my friend. Here's your payment for the tea. Until next time. Okay. Back to Farah. Oh gosh. So as we were at Avalon's house, I saw like another herb in the background. So I guess you can just collect them even when you're not um, crafting, which is really nice. So like if you see something, you can go ahead and grab it and then it'll like be in your inventory for when you need it again. Congratulations on completing your first order. Foraging, crafting, and delivery. You have the skills to help with this workshop. Oh my gosh. You have the skills to help this workshop grow. Let's recap. Oh, she's talking so much. With my recipes, you can craft from materials that grow naturally around my island. You can find these ingredients as you explore. The supplies workstation will allow you to convert ingredients into practical goods that people of Jorvik need. The orders board shows you which customers are buying what supplies today. I refresh the board with new orders every day. As you gain experience in crafting supplies, you can earn recipes for clothing and tack. Building a brighter tomorrow by spreading a passion for sustainable handmade goods. That's my dream, and I'm ho happy we can make it a reality together. You're ready to start crafting and completing jobs on your own. Keep up the good work, and I'll be in touch soon. Sweet. Okay, so she's finally done talking to us. Boy, is she long-winded. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cover of this little um, update today. I'm really excited to see what we get from it. Um, so I'll be sure to maybe keep you guys updated on my Instagram. I'll probably post pictures of like the full tack and clothing sets that we get once I um, achieve them. So keep a lookout for that. My Instagram is at Regina Dark Castle. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!